start off here and ask everyone here how many of you have attended a previous uh, webinar of mine and or how many are, are new traders here so just I, I know where I stand and what I'm going to show you this morning all right have thank you have Johnson all right all right a couple new people in here all right very good I see all right so we have a, a lot of new faces here. Everyone have a chance to watch the uh, the video that I did uh, yesterday showing you the ABC method of trading. And if so, uh, if not, I'd recommend you watching it. I'll go over it again today. I'll show you guys um, some examples. Go back in charts and show you exactly um, if you had to clarify anything. Uh, thank you, Hector. Um, we have here what I have right now is a software that's called the Atlas Line. Those of you who are unaware of it, the Atlas Line is a price action. It's a price action based, quote unquote, indicator. Even though you know, guys, I'm, I'm really against indicators, but this is not. Um, an indicator based off of any type of moving average or MACD or any bands or Fibonacci's and so it's a little bit of a different uh, thinking I always like to re relate to price first and then uh, see how price revolves around the Atlas line that's how I uh, take it thank you Jim and so what you see here just to give you an example of the Atlas line is an entry 1217 quarter which is right here this is the entry at 1217 quarter okay and the software plots this for you all right and in order to know precise targets as far as profit as far as stops everything has to be mechanical so when I talk about uh, trading it should always be in a black and white scenario it should never be looks like or could be so I look at exact uh, numbers each time I trade and that's what I try to show the traders that I work with to look at exact uh, targets and stops and so as an example this entry here at 1217 quarter right how much profit should I take on this trade and in about a minute it looks like we're gonna get a short order as well because we have two consecutive closings below the Atlas line and that's an automatic entry into the market and so two consecutive closings above the Atlas line gave me this this entry here 1217 quarter and so now comes the part where I'm gonna to say to you how much profit and how do you manage a trade like this right and so one of the things that I use exclusively and I think it's one of the ultimate ways to relate to the current market activities is what I have plotted on the bottom there called the ATR the average true range and I have the ATR set to a parameter of four because I'm only interested in the most recent current market activity not what happened an hour ago or three hours ago or yesterday I'm concerned about what's happening in the now. And so the ATR is telling me that a profit potential of 1.7, which is about a point and a half, a point and three quarters, is what I can achieve on this trade. And that's exactly what it looked like. And so the results that you see on the day trade to win results page for the Atlas line and for the power price action, I have to update the power price action. I'm a little behind on that. But the results on the Atlas line are up, were updated as of yesterday. These, this exact entry of 12.17 quarter and my exact profit target is based off of the ATR. And so with, for an example like this, I'm looking at a point and a half, a point and three quarters maybe, but really a point and a half because I'm always rounding down a little bit more conservative. So I know that based on the, mer the current market activity this is what I can achieve the mistake a lot of traders make is that as soon as uh, they place a trade 
they do not, unfortunately, they do not look at what's happening in the now. They say to themselves, well, I want five points, or I'm going to trail it, or I want four points, I want ten, or I'm just taking one. And I'm going to say to you, always look at what's achievable, what you can take out of the market. And what you can take out of the market is what's currently happening. Point and a half, point and three quarters maximum is what I would take on a trade like this, because I know this is what it's giving me. If, ha if that number was at three, that's three points, that's 12 ticks, I would say that's what I want. I want uh, 12 ticks, three points out of the market. But I'm not going to try for three right now, three points. And so a point and a half from 12, 17 quarter is 12, uh, 18, 50, 18, 12, 18, 75, if my math is correct. And that is what happened. That is what happened. Now there's a double bar short here, 12, 14 quarter, right there. Plotted live, 12, 14 quarter to go short. And I'm going to ask you, what is the ATR right now? Can everybody see what that number is right, right here and right now? What is it? Can anybody see that number there? 2.49, right. So that means, very good, Blake, Kevin, that we are looking at a profit target of two and a half, two and a quarter. Since I'm more conservative, I'm going to say two and a quarter. So two, 12, 14 quarter, 12, 13, uh, 12, 13 quarter, 12, 12 quarter, and 12, 12. This is my profit target based on the current market conditions. This is what it's achievable. Very good. Very good, Thomas. So you can see that there's a relationship as a trader that you have to look at, not just what you think is can happen or what you know the people on TV say is going to happen for today, but the current market conditions will always lead you in the right direction, always. All right. Does everyone have any questions on how I use exact profit target and how I enter into the trade using the Atlas line here? Okay, very good. Uh, not on the iPad. It works on Ninja Trader. It works on Uh, trade station e signal, but not on iPad. And you have to, as a trader, I have to say you should be using something that's reliable. Most software for trading is based off of a PC, not off of a Mac. So I would look into an investment of a PC. Most software, unless you're using something like Thinkorswim or OEC, OpenEcry, where it's a trading off of the internet right through the web I would recommend uh, a platform a stable platform with good data all right there's not a lot of traders out there unless you're end of day trader looking at swing trading for a couple of days that you know really trade off the iPad all right well as soon as this candle closes you're in right uh, Dean but you know what the entries are the entry is going to be two consecutive closings right so I teach this with the purchase of the Atlas line or the power price action or the ATO we have a webinar that I explain to you how these orders are created and why they why they occur so two consecutive bars that close below or above the Atlas line triggers an order right that's your entry and so even before this candle closed uh, Hector even before this oh, I'm sorry Dean even before this candle closed I knew that I'm looking for an entry short into the market even before this closed and that's why I, I recommend the ATR and the bar timer see the bar timer right here as a measure of what's happening right be ready right you have four minutes left there's one minute left there's ten seconds left I'm ready alright guys hey Dean alright very good
Very good. All right, and I would use the same the same rules that I'm showing you, Dean, if you have the ATO for your profit targets on the at the open method as well. In the at the open method, remember I say take two points or take four points. I would use the